Brace wheel chop saw, cold cut chop saw. Can they race? We'll start this one first, see if this one can catch up. Yep, it's that much faster. And the joint's cold. This one, there's some good heat to it. So what are we cutting? Just um, a Schedule 40 gas pipe or so. Good solid 8 inch wall, you know, 1 inch gas pipe. But it cuts through this like butter. If you've never compared one of these, this one by far is better. But why am I comparing two completely different saws? Because they're at the same price point. Both these are roughly $200. This is by DeWalt. And this is by a company called Evolution. This is the Evolution Rage cut. I didn't clean it up at all. And there is a very, very little burr. This is the DeWalt cut. Has big old burrs all over it. Um, all the way around, inside, outside. You really have to clean that up. Um, and it's more than just a file can handle. You have actually have to uh, take your grinder and clean all the way around it. This, actually, I'd have no problem just starting to weld just with that. You know, a nice two ends that were cut fit together beautifully. These two ends that were cut don't fit together so beautifully. So you got to clean them up before you can use them. And these little pieces are blazing hot when you're done. So here we got a two by four with nails sticking in it. Some good 16 penny nails all the way through. Let's try this one first. Some aluminum real fast. This is abrasive. That's the cold cut. So now you're saying to yourself. Why don't you just take this blade off and just put on it, why get a whole new saw? Why don't you just take off the blade and put a cold cut blade on here? And the reason is, is this spins way too fast. These speed at around 4,000 RPMs and this only goes at about 1,500. That's all the blade's rated for, any faster. I mean, maybe you could get it up to 2,000, but you triple the speed of it, you're going to get some trouble. So, no, you can't switch out the blades, even though the blades are the same size. They think the bore in the middle is the exact same size. They would fit. This will destroy it. And you can't run a router control. If you run a router control and slow this down or a rheostat, you'll lose all power. You, you lose speed, but you lose power as well. This thing will be a completely gutless saw. You go to cut through something and it'll just stall right out. Makes it useless. Now, this isn't a brand war. This is what you get for your money. And I think this is way more bang for your buck, way more. This will save you so much time and makes cutting metal a, a breeze. I would prefer to cut with this than my plasma cutter. And sometimes this was better than my plasma cutter because plasma cutters don't do, um, can't do dimensional things where these can. So I am very happy to let this thing go. Off to Craigslist it goes. Hopefully they don't watch this video and decide that this is a way better tool. But some things I don't like about it are easily overcome. Some of them are the no quick um, quick release for the, the adjustment. You actually have to crank it in and out. Not a big deal because usually you do the same thing over and over. So you're just moving it back and forth just a little bit. So I'll live with that. Um, I like how the DeWalt has a, uh, the wrench storage. Easy. A little bit of a little thoughts like that make it nicer. Um, the Evolution does not have a tool storage for the little Allen wrench, so that's kind of a bugger. So I actually have to find a spot for this, but the Allen wrench is a way better idea than the wrench, because the wrench, it just doesn't, I mean, they give you this cheap, cheap wrench and it kind of sucks, but I usually end up using a different wrench anyway. The Allen wrench is a lot more secure. This is just your, your angles and stuff like that if you change it to a 45 or something else. But this one also comes with a, um, a pipe holder, tube holder. 
the slide on there, fastens it on there real fast, and allows you to slide pipe in there at different heights. And actually, well not at different heights, but actually allows it to hold in there more securely and square. Where the DeWalt never came with one. I've never seen one with the DeWalt. I bought this one second hand, but um, I've never seen one even in the store that had this thing. I could be wrong, they could come with that. But for the money, I think this saw is way better. I'll put a link below so you guys can go and read and read all the reviews for yourself and find out for yourself. I think this, for the money, is an amazing, amazing tool. You, you won't be disappointed in it. Um, if you have any questions, ask me below. I'd love to answer them. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And I'm going to go enjoy my new tool. I got so much stuff to cut. See you guys soon. Bye.